Hi, AT from CNC at home. Gonna be doing another coaster. You know the routine. So this one will be a white coaster. So to do the focusing, I am putting a black coaster in place uh, just because it's easier to focus on that black surface. So I'll turn the overhead light off and I'll just uh, turn the focusing knob until I can get that laser dot as small as it can be. Once I've gotten the laser focused, I'll just pull the black tile out and pull that white tile back into place and get it squared with the laser. Pull it a little closer. And now I'll use the laser itself to see if the tile is square or not. It's off by a little bit. So I'll just adjust it. A little more. That should do it. And we'll get the laser into the uh, corner. Now I'm running a uh, just a quick trace around my working area. I made the image slightly bigger than the tile. The tile is 108 millimeters square. I made my image 110 and centered it on the tile so I've got a one millimeter border all the way around so when I burn the tile it'll burn edge to edge. All right that looks good let's get to burning. Now this particular image is kind of an odd one it was printed out on a piece of paper it's uh, an x-ray of my mom's arm after her surgery. She had uh, a plate put in to help stiffen up the bone. Uh, it had been broken a couple times and they cleaned it all up. And they put in 14 screws to hold it all together. And I said, hey, I'll make you a coaster if you can get me the image. Well, she was able to get a printout of the image. Now a printout uh, versus an actual JPEG is already got some dithering to it. So I just took a scan of the printout and then I put it into Lightburn. And instead of letting Lightburn do any dithering, there's a little option to skip that. And so it just outputs it raw from the image that I brought in right to the tile. That's the first time I've done this and it actually turned out pretty well. Uh, I also did uh, a burn of the same image where I let Lightburn dither it and it was just too much dithering. So it was dithering on top of dithering, essentially. So as you can see, the all the dark stuff is the, uh, the titanium plate and then the screws that were put in there. An x-ray typically comes out inversed, so anything metal is white. And so I inverted this within um, Photoshop so that it would uh, work better with the white tile. Okay, there it's done. It turned out pretty well. So after I got this cleaned up, put a cork on the back, and then I gave it to my mom. Quick little coaster project. Oops. Hi, I'm AT from CNC at Home. If you like our content, help support our channel by clicking on subscribe and liking our videos. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun with your CNC at Home projects.